The Libra 5 phone is one of those rare computers that is getting faster and better with age. We have been investing in software improvements for the Libra 5 and the whole mobile ecosystem since the beginning of the Libra 5's campaign, and we will continue to share our work upstream. We've made a lot of progress from the kernel to the desktop all the way to individual apps. And nowhere is that more apparent than a freshly updated Librem 5 running the latest build of PureOS 10, codenamed Byzantium. Let's compare that to a Librem 5 running PureOS 9 from June 2020. While both of these devices share the same CPU and RAM, the software has a big effect when it comes to speed and capability. Most apps get a boost in speed just for being on the latest update. This shows that both the older Chestnut and the newer Evergreen models were able to compute prime numbers a bit faster using updated software. The newer version of PureOS also boots up faster than before. Web browsing has come a long way as GNOME Web continually ticks up performance with each release. When compared to about a year ago, Canvas drawing has improved to be about 30% faster. We now also include Desktop Firefox, which has excellent Canvas test results, yielding about a 220% increase in Canvas draw speeds over the older version of GNOME Web. This means you can take advantage of faster render speeds while having a few options for your preferred web browser. Complex websites that utilize WebGL work much better than a year ago, getting about a 380% increase in speed. Playback of videos has also come a long way on the Librem 5. With VPU support around the corner, much of the video processing can be offloaded from the CPU, saving power and offering much better frame rates depending on the video format. This video is a good example of what the VPU offers. Without the VPU helping out, this HD H256 video is pretty much unplayable. While many video formats work fine without the VPU, this will add to the number of playable formats while boosting battery life. Battery life degradation is a big issue for most smartphones but not the Librem 5, which offers fully replaceable batteries and a software stack that won't quit improving and lowering power draw. Overall, all models of the Librem 5 show a considerable reduction in power draw from just about a year ago. This equates to longer idle and in-use times. New versions of PureOS aren't just faster, they're more capable, with more apps in the store and more shipping by default. A good example app is Megapixels. This soon-to-be default camera app allows you to take photos and access the front and rear cameras. Sliders give you complete control over exposure, gain, and focus. Lost? Not an issue if you've updated your Librem 5. With the new Maps application, you can pull up your surroundings and take a look around. The newly adapted file manager now fits on the Librem 5 screen. This powerful file manager makes it simple to navigate local pictures, documents, remote Nextcloud files, or even attached USB devices. The user interface has seen a lot of love this year, advancing from this basic interface to what we have in our repos today. Gestures to close apps, more settings accessible in the top dropdown, and new app filtering are just the tip of the iceberg. The Librem 5 kernel is also progressing towards mainline. You can already use our dev kit with a pure mainline kernel, and we're working hard to make an unmodified kernel work on the phone too. Take a look at our latest kernel blog for details about which patches are still in use today. We reinvest proceeds from hardware orders into software improvements, so the Libre 5 will continue to improve over its lifetime. When you get an update, don't be afraid to download it and give it a spin. Apps are getting faster as underlying technologies like GTK and GPU support improve, and new apps keep adding functionality. Order your Labrum 5 USA at PURI.SM.